Hey everyone, Chris from Blu-ray Critic, and on today's update, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up so far for the month of March 2017. I got a bunch of new releases, as well as some uh, catalog titles and whatnot. So let's start things off with uh, Man Down with Shia LaBeouf, also co-stars Gary Oldman and Clifton Collins Jr. And I really enjoy this film. Unfortunately, it's a bit underrated, but I thought uh, Shia LaBeouf did a great job, and he's always just been a great actor. Uh, if you want to see one of his best performances, in my opinion, check out Fury with uh, Brad Pitt. So in this film, he plays a U.S. Marine in which uh, he's returning home from Afghanistan, you know, after fighting out there. And he soon finds out that uh, being home in the States is no better than being out in a battlefield. And he's suffering from PTSD, which is a post-traumatic stress disorder. And uh, he's trying to find out where his estranged son is and his wife. And he comes across uh, some guy that uh, might have the clue where their whereabouts uh, might be. But uh, yeah, just really great film. And uh if you're a U.S. Marine or just part of our U.S. military, I just want to sincerely thank you for your services, you know, putting your life out there for our freedoms. I really do appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, as far as uh, picture and audio quality for this film, I'm going to rate the image a 4 out of a 5, and the audio mix is a 4.5 uh, out of a 5. The image itself, overall great black levels, although certain scenes are a bit soft at times, but uh, you do get a little bit of pop here and there throughout the film, but overall it's a decent presentation. Also includes a uh, commentary track. And the aspect ratio for this film is in the 2x40 format, and that is Man Down. And next, I ended up getting the Before Trilogy, which is three films by Richard Linklater. You get uh, Before Sunrise, Before Sunset, and Before Midnight, released by Criterion. And this set is long awaited. A lot of people were asking, when is this coming to Blu-ray? So it's finally here. You can pick it up. And I just absolutely adore these films. And it's just pure dialogue driven. So if you're expecting an action film, you're not going to find it here. But the dialogue is really well written. And it's just about, you know, having that spark with that special someone in your life, having that deep connection where you could talk about anything and uh, just enjoy the sights of where this film is shot to. Uh, you know, it's in uh, Paris, also Greece. So the cinematography is just absolutely breathtaking. And Richard Linklater is great with stuff like this. Of course, he also directed Boyhood about that kid, you know, growing up as a you know child and then he becomes a teenager. And uh, what's also amazing about this film, each movie is almost 10 years apart. And the stars, of course, Julie Delpy and uh, Ethan Hawke. Just amazing cinema right here. And that is the Before uh, Trilogy. And next, I ended up getting Hacksaw Ridge. Incredible film directed by Mel Gibson. And I was actually rooting for him to win you know, Best Director at the Oscars. But that award went to uh, Damien Chazelle for La La Land. But uh, nonetheless, definitely check this film out if you haven't seen it yet. It's about this soldier that saved so many lives during the course of the evening out in the battlefield. And uh, one thing I got to say, I got this from Best Buy. Best Buy really needs to stop doing that whole sticker attachment thing on a slipcover. I just find it pointless. And you can't even peel it off, you know. It just uh, really screws up the whole slipcover. But uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, Hacksaw Ridge. And next up is Rules Don't Apply, which is written directed by Warren Beatty and also uh, stars Warren Beatty. He plays Howard Hughes. And this is a love story. I thought it's a decent film, although it's a bit of a drag in certain scenes. But I thought the cinematography is well done. And, uh, yeah, about that whole crazy situation at the Oscars with uh, Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway, technically it's not their fault. I think it's the fault of the staff that gave them the wrong envelope. But uh, what Warren should have done was say, hold a second, you know, I got the wrong envelope uh, and wait for the staff to come out and uh, bring the correct envelope before he ended up passing the envelope to Faye Dunaway to read. But, uh, you know, if you could read a script, you could read an envelope, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, I hope this doesn't tarnish his legacy because he is one of my favorite actors of all time. And, you know, he doesn't make movies too often. The last film he made was in 2001 called uh, Town and Country. Unfortunately, that bombed at the box office. But uh, I just thought that film is hilarious and uh, also stars uh, the late, great uh, Gary Shandling. But, yeah, definitely check out Town and Country if you haven't seen it. It's just very underrated. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Warren Beatty, I mean, Dick Tracy, Bonnie and Clyde, Bugsy, you know, he's just a really great actor. But uh, definitely give this film a try, and that is Rules Don't Apply. And these next two films, I've done full reviews for them on my channel, so you can definitely check it out. That is Fences with Denzel Washington and Viola Davis, which uh, she ended up winning Best Supporting Actress. So, uh, yeah, really great film. And this is, of course, pure dialogue as well. And also the Wishmaster Collection, which is a four-film set on three discs. And this is from uh, Vestron Video, which is part of Lionsgate. But, uh, man, I gotta say one more time, this slipcover is just absolutely beautiful. Love that artwork. 
And next I'm going to show you guys a bunch of my catalog titles that I picked up on Blu-ray, which is uh, The Apartment with Jack Lemmon, Shirley MacLaine, and Fred McMurray, which is uh, directed by Billy Wilder, one of my favorite directors from the golden age of Hollywood. Of course, uh, you know, he's the guy who directed Double Indemnity, Sunset Boulevard, this film, and a um, whole host of others. But actually I actually picked this up right after the Oscars because I saw that little segment they did with... Uh, Charlie Sterren uh, mentioning the apartment and then Shirley MacLaine comes out on stage so I'm like yeah man I have to get that film because I had the DVD but cinematography for this film is just absolutely beautiful I love the music and you can't go wrong with that uh, Jack Lemmon man just a really great uh, actor and of course Fred McMurray from Double Indemnity and a lot of people don't know this but Shirley MacLaine is uh, Warren Beatty's sister so uh, I didn't even know about that until like a few years ago I'm like what are you serious but yeah so I got the apartment and next is a film that I grew up watching and always loved, and that is the hilarious comedy Road Trip with uh, Tom Green and that dude from American Pie, Sean William Scott. This is the unrated cut. has a bunch of special features as well, and I picked this up for five bucks. Really great deal. And next is a guilty pleasure of mine, and that is Alicia Silverstone in Clueless. I got this for five bucks as well. Always enjoy this film, and I haven't seen this one in probably like, geez, maybe like 10 years or whatever it is, but glad to own that. And next, I ended up getting Romancing the Stone with Michael Douglas and Kathleen Turner. Always enjoyed this film, although I hadn't seen it since I was a kid. Also co-stars uh, Danny DeVito, and they made that sequel too called uh, The Jewel of the Nile, which I got to pick up on Blu-ray. And uh, they made these films after the success of Indiana Jones. So uh, yeah, it's, it's fun films, man. Fun adventure movies. Of course, there's another film uh, that was recently released from all the films called King Solomon's Minds, which is another uh, copycat kind of movie from Indiana Jones. But uh, yeah, so I ended up getting that. And finally, the uh, romantic comedy, You've Got Mail with Tom Hanks and uh, Meg Ryan. Yeah, it's a guilty pleasure of mine, you know. Always enjoy this one. And it's good to have a variety in my collection. So if a chick comes over, she has something to watch. But uh, anyway, thanks for taking a look. Some, uh, you know, pretty solid week of pickups here, new releases and catalog films. And um, yeah, so uh, that's about it for now. Thanks for uh, watching and I'll see you guys soon in my next update. Take care.